The National Map is a collection of mapping products and services produced by the USGS National Geospatial Program. The products and services are accessed via the internet through service calls and graphical user interfaces. The National Geospatial Program has released a series of how-to videos for people who are working with the National Map data and services. The videos show how to use the services and interfaces to access data and tools for viewing, analyzing, and printing geospatial data. Lessons 1 and 2 serve as an introduction to the training materials, and the remaining how-to videos may be viewed as needed in any order depending on the user. Lesson 10K1 Using LiDAR Explorer In this lesson, we will provide an introduction to using the LiDAR Explorer application. We will show how to access LiDAR point cloud data and its derived products using the LiDAR Explorer application. Within this application, the user can search for LiDAR projects, digital elevation models, DEM, and LiDAR point cloud files to meet their needs. This application is available on desktop and mobile devices. First, let's open the LiDAR Explorer application by following the URL on the screen, apps.nationalmap.gov forward slash LiDAR dash Explorer. Now that the application is open, let's start a search. On the left side, users can search for LiDAR, DEMs, and other products such as Digital Surface Model, DSM, or Ortho Rectified Radar Image, ORI. Returning our attention underneath LiDAR, click the Show Where LiDAR is Available box. This will display the availability of LiDAR projects around the country. To access the legend for this layer, click on Show Legend. This shows the different cloud density for each project area, as well as what the bathymetry or topobathy areas of interest, or AOI, look like. Please note the checkbox for topobathy LiDAR needs to be selected if you want it to show on the map. To start a search, start by identifying the AOI. Click on the Define Area of Interest box in the menu pane on the left, or the Draw AOI button on the map interface. Then, navigate on the map using the Zoom In Out buttons on the map or the mouse wheel. Alternatively, you can also use the search bar on the top right to quickly zoom into an area. Once there, hold the Control or Command key while clicking and dragging over the AOI. Please remember that LiDAR data is very dense data and we suggest working with as small an AOI as possible to help minimize the amount of data you will need to download. Once done, the results panel will open on the right side of the screen. Please note redrawing the AOI will update the results panel. The area of interest area in square miles will be displayed at the top of the panel. Below will be a list of all the projects that are available within the AOI. These are arranged from highest to lowest quality. Please note that data might not be available for the entire AOI depending on data availability. Depending on the AOI, the results may list the following sections. Selected LiDAR projects, downloadable products within AOI, and derived products from entwined LiDAR. Note that entwined LiDAR is not yet available for all data within the USGS LiDAR catalog. Selected LiDAR projects will list all the LiDAR projects that intersect your AOI. Downloadable products within AOI will list products such as DEMs and individual LiDAR tiles that intersect your AOI. And derived products from entwined LiDAR enables users to perform selected processing functions, such as reprojecting and filtering the data prior to download. This will be covered in more detail in a moment. Now, Focusing on our selected LiDAR projects results in LiDAR Explorer. Clicking on a project will expand additional information. This includes information such as the link to where the data can be downloaded, links, data quality, QL, the published date, published, and metadata within links. This metadata link takes users to where the project metadata is located. These files go into depth on the collection process, such as break lines and related reports. Additionally, clicking on More Info shows even more metadata about the project without having to download the file. 
Under the downloadable products, we can see the DEM and LiDAR point cloud files offered by resolution and file size for easy comparison. Hovering over any of the results will display the extent of the data on the map. To download the data, we can select the download icon or the links. The link will take users to the ScienceBase catalog where more information about the products can be found, as well as a link to the data download. As you may have noticed, under LiDAR projects, some results have a Visualize in 3D icon. Clicking on this will open the options for visualizing the LiDAR point cloud in Potri or 3DEP Eptium. Potri and Eptium are applications that will visualize the project LiDAR point cloud. Now let's click on Potri to open and visualize the project we have selected. In Potri, users can adjust the appearance of the point cloud in multiple ways by opening the menu on the top left. Here we are adjusting the point budget, or the density of the point cloud, for better visualization or processing depending on what you need. Users can also review the classification of the point cloud to see if it is what they are expecting before processing or downloading the data. Here we are turning off all the classifications except the buildings and the unclassified points. Notice how this allows you to quickly determine if the data will be suitable for your analysis without having to download it. Finally, under the Derived Products from Entwined LiDAR section, the user can click on LiDAR Processing. Please note, this section only displays when a project within the AOI has been enabled for Entwine, indicated by the green icon mentioned earlier. This will load the AOI information into the Cloud Processing menu. This menu is also accessible at the top of the application by selecting Process. This is a cloud processing menu that uses Entwine point tiles to process LiDAR point cloud data in the cloud. In the processing menu, users can set output projections, filter by returns or classifications, and set output formats. By default, Web Mercator is selected as the output projection. Users can then load the project for processing by selecting Process in the Cloud. Then the status of the processing can be checked by selecting the Show Requests button. If you are familiar with PDAL, Point Data Abstraction Library, you can download the script in JSON of the processing that is taking place for later use or to automate your experiment. Once the results of your processing are finished, you can download the output and bring it into a GIS for visualization or additional analysis. This concludes the introduction to LiDAR Explorer. We hope you will use the application and explore the data available to the public. In this lesson, we demonstrated how to use the LiDAR Explorer application to easily access LiDAR data and its derived products. For more information on the LiDAR Explorer and other geospatial applications, please visit usgs.gov forward slash national map forward slash data. This concludes Lesson 10K1. To continue to the next lesson, please return to the course homepage, usgs.gov forward slash NGP videos.